Now we come to the third segment of the Lalita Kala Anubhava, the Bharatanatya Arangetram of Kumari Kushi Heba. After being captivated by Kushi's mesmerizing art exhibition and enthralled by her soul stirring Karnatic vocal Arangetram and her sister Sihi's violin presentation, we now embark on the final leg of this artistic journey, Lalita Kala Anubhava. This Bharatanatya Arangetram is more than just a mere performance. It is a sacred initiation into the realm of this classical dance form. Tonight, Kushi takes her rightful place on the stage doing Nritya Yagya, offering her dance as a divine offering to the gods and to the art itself. And as we step into this final act of Lalita Kala Anubhava, let the Sanskrit mantra Tat Tvam Asi resonate. Thou art that. Kushi's dance becomes a vessel through which we see reflections of ourselves, our emotions, and our shared humanity. So I welcome you all once again to the Bharatanatya Arangetram of Kumari Kushi Hebar. She will begin her dance with a beautiful Natyanjali. This Natyanjali is blessed by her Aji who chose this beautiful rare composition for her Arangetram. Before we begin, I would like to go over the house rules once again. I request you all to kindly turn off your cell phone to silent mode or please turn it off. No videography or photography is permitted. And please maintain silence during the performance and avoid entering and exiting the auditorium when the performance is in progress. Thank you again for your cooperation. In the Natyanjali, Kushi becomes a dancer and she requests Lord Shiva with her heart full of love, asking him to dance with grace and energy. Through this dance, different sides of Lord Shiva come alive. The Ganges on his head, the snake around his neck, his tangled hair and the tiger skin he wears. He holds a drum and the fire in his hands and the fire dances around him beautifully. Even his companion Nandi joins in playing the Mridangam and together they create a wonderful dance that echoes through the universe. A very unique aspect of this Natyanjali is that here Lord Shiva is revered to and referred to as Natya Charya. Girija Alingita Natya Charya. Here Nataraja embraces his cherished consort Devi Parvati and steps into the role of Natya Charya or the teacher of dance. Much like the universe finds its rhythm in Nataraja's cosmic dance, Kushi dedicates this performance to her own guiding lights, her parents, Srimati Akhilandeshwari and Sri Chetan, who in their unique way mirror the roles of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati in Kushi's life. As mentors and gurus, they become the living embodiment of Natyacharya, nurturing Kushi's journey with boundless love and wisdom. This Natyanjali is in Ragam, Shrotaswini and Talam Adi. The Pushpanjali is composed by Sri Madurai R. Murali Dharan. The verses are by Sri Raja Guru Raja Acharya. Presenting Natyanjali, Kuniyuda Naliyuda Ba Shankara. Let us encourage Kushi with a big round of applause. She will now present the Natyanjali.
Yeah. <laughs> 
With this dance, Kushi offers a heartfelt tribute to the divine presence that she finds in her parents, her Natyacharyas, and expresses her deepest gratitude for their unwavering support and guidance. Just as Lord Nataraja's dance holds the universe entranced, Kushi's performance becomes a reflection of the profound influence of her parents, whose warm embrace has shaped her journey into a harmonious symphony of life and art. This performance, a tribute to her parents' divine roles in her life, truly resonated with the essence of Lord Nataraja's cosmic artistry. <laughs> 